Hi, this is Decentered Media, conversations about community-focused communications for positive social change. Hello, Rob Watson here for Decentered Media, and I thought I'd just give you an update on what we're going to be talking about this week with our uh, commu- in our community media discussion, which we hold every Tuesday from 6pm. Um, the idea is that we bring a group of uh, community media makers, community media advocates, p- community media researchers, uh, policy developers, or just people who are generally interested in learning about community media. We get together on a Tuesday evening for a discussion and to take part in this, you have to sign up via Patreon. So it's patreon.com slash decentered media. And you can do that for as little as a pound a month. Uh, it's just it's easier to maintain a uh, an email list and send out updates through Patreon. Um, but uh, and, it, and it tracks. Uh, it allows me to add extra content as well. Anyway, this week, we're continuing a discussion that we've started in the last couple of weeks about equalities and the role that community media plays in generating and fostering a, uh, a platform or a, a movement or a process of inclusion for people who uh, aren't necessarily interested or can't for whatever reason or are often overlooked who don't get into uh, the, the kind of mainstream media. I think there's often a misconception that inclusion and equalities are the same thing. And there is a lot of kind of tick boxing that goes on in large corporations and organisations um, because they have to manage a process in a particular way where it's almost it feels as if just because you've got somebody in place who's fulfill certain social characteristics, disability, ethnicity, gender. I'm going to sneeze. Um, <laughs> that's good, isn't it? <coughs> oh, there we go. Um, that, that automatically makes you an inclusive organisation. And that we're kind of, you know, we're, we're, we're you know, representation um, within our media is seen as a, I'm going to sneeze again in a second. A represent, there we go. <coughs> Oh dear me, sorry. And representation is seen as something which is, um, you know, a kind of, uh, again, a kind of an automated process. You just need to put things in the right places and that automatically means that you're being inclusive or, uh, and and there's a lot more work that needs to go on uh, behind the scenes. And we're really concerned with community media, not just about the content that we produce, but what gets people into the position where they feel confident, inspired, empowered to talk about topics that are of concern and interest to them uh, and their community. And how do we define what that means and how do we uh, build space uh, for people to develop and learn how to talk about um differences in our lives but but also not seeing these differences as as kind of a fixed and monolithic you know we don't we we should never look at people from minority communities as being homogenous as being something which is automatic is that you know you know if if you're a if you're a gay man you're automatically a fan of ABBA and Madonna, you know, the kind of stereotypical approach, you know, there's the, there's a wide variety of social interests. So we, we're looking at how do we define ourselves both in terms of our uh, social identity, but also in terms of our interests and how we work together and how we collaborate and integrate our social experiences is something that hasn't necessarily been discussed or considered in the way that it was when community radio for example was first set up and one of the things that drove the initial uh, uh, establishment of community radio was the idea of community cohesion so we're, we're looking at the work of um, professor ted Cantle who's written a lot about community cohesion and he was one of the original uh, kind of people who uh, informed the policy uh, process where we talked about interculturalism and community cohesion. So Ted's got a view and I'm working through his uh, book at the moment and we're going to look at this different elements of this book in coming weeks. Um, 
as a kind of a, a guide to thinking about some of these issues. So what do we mean by identity? What do we mean by uh, a cohesive community? Because we can, you know, we can identify people by their identity, but we can segregate and compartmentalize people. And that doesn't, is, is that a desirable social outcome to have people just left in their, you know, their, their, their segregated and separated um uh, social units or do we want people to interact what leads what's the kind of what what brings about a more uh, inclusive dynamic resourceful sustainable community and they're kind of important questions that we have to be asking because you know the the uh, the pushback that we often get from the assumptions that are driven in our mainstream media uh, and with the, uh, the the kind of almost collapse now of local media, so the BBC are pulling out of local, basically pulling out of local radio. Uh, you know, they're 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 moving to a kind of uh, a, a, a a regional approach, which ignores some of the differences about locality and place and how they matter. They're also going to a, a digital first strategy, which I kind of. I think is short sighted and actually not everybody wants uh, and and should expect to have to use digital uh, uh, platforms. Uh, there's still a role for traditional forms of broadcast radio on analog an, analog frequencies fm and am are still viable and have huge audiences of people still listening to them but the the kind of corporate management approach is caught up in this digital is best model content comes first relationships come first identity comes first not platforms that's just the way that you deliver things to people and we need to think about how this kind of interacts with and crosses over and fertile you know cross fertilizers the notion of our identity so for me in a place like Leicester it's you know kind of what is our common it's, it, the society the the communities are changing so fast and rapidly in Leicester there's a constant level of change and generational change and expectations which is drawn in from a kind of globalized uh, uh, identification the kind of diaspora, diaspora uh, informed uh, media all of these are kind of in this kind of mix and we're not really thinking through or we're not really investing in what it means to be local what it means to have a local identity what comes first um you know w at what point do we draw a line between um media which is designed and articulated as a representation of our say our faith or our ethnic identity and when do we look at things as a kind of secular uh, uh, expression of community, uh, which doesn't necessarily look at those separate, th those identifications separately, but brings them together to produce something which is, um, you know, uh, m an integrated expression of community identity. And there's lots of things that need to be discussed. And the idea around community cohesion is that that is an approach which informs public policy you know perhaps over the last decade we've seen that stripped away with the kind of austerity agenda and we've seen a kind of a lessening you know the, the lack of investment in things which give us a co cohesive society and a cohesive sense of community where we come together from our multiple traditions and perspectives and backgrounds and produce something which is, uh, you know, uh, um, valid in its own terms. So we're going to have a chat about this as we as we always do. Um, it's always interesting to get other people's perspectives. I learn a lot from uh, the conversations that we have. Uh, as ever, if you want to sign up for it, as I said at the beginning, uh, it's where you go to patreon.com slash decentered media and there's a link to the Patreon page on the Decentered Media website, which is decentered.co.uk, 
once you sign up, I'll send you a link for the Zoom meeting and we chat for about an hour, hour and a half, uh, depending on, on what kind of <laughs> what kind of mood I'm in and whether I've had my dinner or not. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll keep those conversations flowing. If you want to check anything out on the website, as I say, decentered.co.uk, there's some podcasts there, there's some articles I've written about, uh, there's an article about uh, that I've written, a blog I've written for this week's session with some ideas and some links and also on we're on twitter and instagram at decentered media uh, but until uh you join us on a tuesday uh enjoy it actually it's nice and sunny outside today so i'm going to be going out for a walk in a in a, in a bit so uh, enjoy um finding out more about community cohesion take care Visit decentered.co.uk or follow us on Instagram and Twitter at decentered media.